This is the real price of gold. Another South African miner being mourned by his colleagues. Another family left without a breadwinner. May his soul rest in peace. The fallout of yet another fatal accident underground. Gold miners are being killed at the rate of a dozen a month in South Africa, where these working conditions are typical. Men drilling out the precious metal by hand, with a mile of sometimes shifting rock above their heads. The increase of the gold price, I think, has got an impact on this. Has got a, a very serious impact because they want to double their profits. Um, uh, with the lives of these mine workers and they don't even care about the lives of these mine workers. What they want best is production, nothing else. Money is pouring into gold right now and in South Africa the mining companies are accused of cutting corners to cash in. But up in the boardrooms the bosses insist that safety does come first. You don't have any mining company that says in my planning I factor in that I'll kill so many people. There is nothing like that. And in fact, when there's a death in the mine, you can go through the entire operation. Everybody that said as anybody else. There has been some progress. Over the past decade, the number of fatal accidents has halved, but still at least 150 miners are dying a year. And the industry is so powerful that South Africa's government is reluctant to intervene. Gold mining is the backbone of South Africa's economy. The industry employs half a million people here. But those who are taking the biggest risks are also those getting the smallest reward. The average miner earns less than £200 a month, not even enough to buy half an ounce of gold. But still people are competing for these jobs. This is the family of the latest miner to be killed. I have to send another son down the mine, he told me. I understand that life is better than money, but we have no other way of getting money. The only power the miners have is to halt production. So they're downing tools now for these memorial services every time a worker dies. It's costing the industry millions and finally putting a price on a gold miner's life. Emma Hurd, Sky News, in the Northwest Province.